Jesus explains where we are along the end time timeline. The Bible says that many are willingly ignorant to the obvious signs and changes that indicate the soon return of Jesus. But the truth is, we're closer to the end than many realize. But exactly how close? Where are we exactly along the end time timeline? And what is the next thing that we can expect to happen according to Bible prophecy? Will there be an imminent rapture as many of the popular preachers and teachers are promising? Or will the church be on earth and see the coming of the new world order with a ten king governing council as the Bible predicts? And when and from where will the Antichrist arise? And what shall he do when he is revealed? Does the Bible tell us when these things shall unfold? Prophecy narrated by Daniel. All scripture references are KJV. Prophecy describes the time of the end or the last days before my return. My prophet Daniel was told that in the time of the end, knowledge would increase and many would travel everywhere at great speed. My prophet Nahum was given visions of cars, chariots, roaring in the broadways, bumping into each other in the last days. And I told my disciples that you would hear about wars and rumours of wars and see an increase in natural disasters such as earthquakes and pestilence and famines. All these things you now see and hear about daily, but don't be troubled, for the end is not yet. However, it is very, very close. Never in the history of man has the whole earth been on the brink of seeing the introduction of a global one world government. Never in the history of man have the nations of the world been so subject to the forces that could bring about such a scenario. Real power, the power that controls the world, is never seen, it's only felt. Never in the history of man has the whole world been in the situation where an unseen power could enforce the dictates that have so easily and quickly stripped away the basic freedoms of humanity. But that is what the nations have experienced since the beginning of this decade. By sorcery and cunningly devised fables, the nations of the world have been brought to their knees and subjected to the demands of a few who wish to rule the world. However, what the world has experienced is only a preparation of that which is soon to follow. The stage has been set for new levels of demands to be introduced with new levels of conformity that will further erode the liberties of mankind. But fear not, for there is nothing man can do to you that can separate you from me when you are mine. There is no weapon formed against you that can prosper when you are mine. Satan must have his day and that day shall be soon, but short. In the very near future, further unprecedented and never before seen events shall unfold that shall fully introduce the new world order, the final one world government. Prophecy tells you that the new world order shall be ruled by 10 kings, although they shall not receive their power to rule as kings until another king, the Antichrist, arises and gives them power to rule with him as kings. 
However, prophecy also assures you that their rule shall only be for a short time before I return. Prophecy tells you that these are the ten kings who shall be ruling over the earth when I return. Through prophecy, you can expect that in the not too distant future, you shall see these ten kings arise from throughout the whole earth. Correctly balanced scripture reveals that the ten kings shall arise out of the whole earth, not out of Europe not out of the papacy and not out of Islamic countries as some claim, but out of the whole earth. It is important that my people gain a correct understanding as to when and from where these kings shall arise, as this sets the stage for that which is to follow. It is important to have certainty in your understanding of my word concerning these things, so that you won't lose faith when these events begin to happen. As my word says, study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Be prepared, for there shall soon be signs in the skies and wonders on earth like you have never seen nor experienced before. Guard yourself against deception against what the world shall proclaim as aliens living among you, for they shall be demons posing as that which they are not. These shall be the ten kings, depicted in prophecy as both toes and horns, unable to mingle themselves with the seed of men, with humanity. I have told you these things before they happen, so that when they happen, you might understand and believe. I have told you these things that you might have peace. Hold fast to your crown that no one takes it. Just a little while and I shall be with you. For an overall understanding concerning end times prophecy, please visit endtimesofficial.com. That's endtimesofficial.com. Thank you and God bless.